What's up, Love Fives? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing my third or fourth basketball video. Today, I'm going to be breaking down how to dribble the ball behind your defender's back. So, you're going to kind of like do a couple things, go, and you're dribbling behind their back. As you guys will see in this video, and yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna break down the hand work, the footwork, the eye work, and how to set up the move. And yeah, let's get on with this. So now that we have Joe right here, um, it's now you when you're trying to go behind their back, you're not just gonna want to jump right up in their face like this and go behind their back, because the possibilities get the ball. Is they could go like that, and then boom, ball's theirs. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. But you want to prevent that from happening. So what I'm going to do is, if you don't know the stiff leg crossover, I'm going to be reviewing that next week. We're going to be doing a basketball video per week. And we might do, um, let's say, a gaming video in a week, a vlog day per week, and maybe a missed upload in the week. But you, what you want to do is always in the strategy. You can do this move, and you'll barely get by the defense. And you can do this move, and they'll go flying. Boom. They'll go flying seven feet. Um, but it will leave you enough room because once you're going like this and you kind of fake with a stiff leg, you're going to kind of go here and they're going to think you're going. But the way you actually pull in, it's going to be super believable. So play me again. So once you do, as see Joe's like a more competitive defender, so he's going to be down ready for that. And say I just kind of jump up and chuck it. Like I said before, he's going to turn around, grab that ball, and go lay it up. Or he might just shoot it right there. But I'll be able to get it like right in there. So... What we're going to do is, I'm here, right? Uh, uh, the hardest basketball people to go, uh, guard is people that can go boom, boom, go back up, and go down low again. Those are the hardest ones to guard. So we're sitting there, and once we check up, you can hold the ball right now. So you can kind of do whatever preparation. Once you start that first dribble, and you pick it up, and then you go again, that's double dribbling. You're not going to do that. You're going to start dribbling, and you just kind of want to bore them. So make them like this. <sighs> and just kind of be like that. So my favorite one to do is go in, out, in, out, in, out. So play me up, like play me. If he's playing you like this, there's no way you're going to pull this off correctly. So I'm going to go like this, and he's going to end up being bored. So he's going to stand like that. And what you're going to do is, boom, strike your leg real hard. And what you're going to do for the stiff leg is you're going to pull the ball over your leg. So that's stepping right here this way. So he turns this way. And bam. And then, but let's say he's forcing me left. So I'll come up here, forcing me left. So if he's forcing me left, then bam, I can instantly do this. Because what I'm going to do is kind of give my precursor move, which is like a couple combo moves, like right here. Go. I like to go between the legs behind the back. I'm going to go between my head behind the back, and I'm going to put the ball right here. So right now, Joe, can you see this ball? No. So what I'm going to do is he thinks, he don't know what, I don't know what you would think. If the ball's like this and I'm here, what do you think I'm doing? I'm thinking you're either, you're either going for the goal or putting it behind the back. All right, but, so if he's forcing me left, then I'm going to come up, boom, precursor move. And once the ball's here, he's not going to know. So what I'm going to do is just throw the ball. We're learning how to do the move. So, he's playing me. Now, let's say he's forcing me right. It'll work this way, too. So, force me to the right. So, Joe's making it to where I can't go this way. So, he's forcing me to where I got to go that way. So, what I'm going to do is step hard with this leg as if I'm regarding him. He's going to switch his position or something. But, let's say he's still forcing me this way. And he forces me right the entire time. What I'm going to do is give my precursor move. And you should probably switch it up. So, this time, I'm going to go between this leg, behind my back that way. And I'm going to reach right here behind his back. He can't see the ball right now. And I'm just going to slam it out. And I got the ball. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. I see this all the time. I seen it yesterday. One of my good friends, Ennis, um, he was sitting there. And he's playing Joe, right? You remember this? And he's sitting there like this. And he does a couple moves. And what he does is he runs right up to Joe and does like this and gets it all the way over here. Now, can that work? Yeah. Will it always work? Definitely not. So, if he's playing me straight up, if, let's say he's playing me straight up. So, I'm going to get down with him, and I'm going to give that precursor move, do whatever, and then I'm going to give him my inner legs or whatever, and then boom, I'm striking with this, making him, I'm forcing him to force me right. Then I pull back. Face that way. 
once I do that, I pull back, and then I got to be quick about it because he ain't forcing me. He's going to get back to me. And then I go like that as he's getting back. I'm hoping this tutorial is teaching you something, and let's check out this tutorial in game mode. I'm hoping this tutorial helped you guys learn something. Make sure you can go behind your defender's back and maybe just kind of please the crowd and make them applaud and it'll kind of make whoever's watching you. And it's a great cross up too. So to go like behind the defender's back, he'll be completely faked out in what you're doing. Thank you guys so much for watching this tour. If you guys want more, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.